Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to create warm gear mechanism in SOLIDWORKS. So let's see how to do in SOLIDWORKS. We will make each and every gear and assemble at the end. And we will do the little animation. I wish you like it. So let's start. Now here let's make the first part of warm gear. Choose here front plane, sketch, select line and start to draw from one end exit now this is the our geometry so first define it 116 mm 10 mm 56 mm keep 10 mm by default 40 now select this height 8.25 mm choose this mid 9.5 mm Keep 9 mm. And let's define the distance from origin point to one end. Keep 38 mm. And distance from bottom line. Eleven point seven mm. This also let's define nine mm. Now see the geometry is fully defined. So go to feature here, find out revolve boss base and select this bottom line as a axis. Okay. Now see here. We will define the material polished steel. Now select here right plane. A sketch normal select the outer circle and convert it now it's going to convert you can see here it's converted now we want to create here thread warm gear thread so we have to create first path so select this circle feature and find out here helix and spiral uh, we will create first path Select here height and pitch 24 mm, 6 mm, uncheck reverse box 90 degree clockwise, and this one uncheck. Okay, now we want to create teeth profile, so choose front plane, sketch normal. first draw the center line vertical cons construction line uh, let's draw one circle here and define this circle from this line 3.5 mm diameter keep 2 mm ok select here line select up to this circle then vertical line exit mirror select these two lines and mirror against vertical center line ok now connect both the lines in bottom choose here trim entity trim this inside lines ok tangent Okay. Now define this width three point eight mm and any distance from here it's no matter. Now simply exit. 
now it's time to create the warm gear thread so find out here sweep to boss base the profile selected just select the path you can see here okay now the one side thread created now we will create a half thread so select here first sketch 2 click here helix and spiral you can select the plane right plane okay now select this circle previous sketch 2 convert and select helix and spiral now again we need to create the thread path so this time keep the everything same height and pitch 24 by 6 and only change the direction and counterclockwise 90 degree okay now see now select this face sketch now select the sketch number 3 convert entity now it is converted now simply exit now again choose the same swift boss base see here profile is selected just select here path now you can see the warm gear thread now this is the warm gear thread see here we will make some keyhole so sketch choose corner rectangle exit select these three lines and make relation symmetric now let's define distance from midpoint just click here and you will find the center point or uh, let's define circle this is the center point keep 7.22 3.25 mm 1.5 mm ok now it's time to ex extrude cut go to feature and select here extruded cut command make it 20 mm ok now the key slot is created so this is our first part warm gear now let's save this part desktop create one folder warm gear this is the our first part select this part warm gear Now let's make the next part warm. Let's do the here next part warm. Choose front plane, sketch, select here circle, make here two circles. Outer circle keep 87 mm diameter and inner keep 30 mm. select center line vertical center line let's make rectangle ten mm okay now we will make a relation select these three lines and make relation symmetric 
ओके चूज स्ट्रीम एंटिटी ओके अगेन चूज डायमेंशन एंड सेलेक्ट दिस कीप फोर एम एम ओके नाउ इट्स टाइम टू एक्सट्रूड कीप हियर एंड कंडीशन मिड प्लेन 22.7 एम एम ओके नाउ लेट्स डिफाइन द मटीरियल पॉलिश द स्टील सी हियर सेलेक्ट फिलेट Keep two mm. Select the this face, circular face. Okay. Delete. We want to add chamfer, not fillet. Two mm, forty-five degree. Now select this surface, or oh, face. Okay. Now see here. Right plane, a sketch, normal. First draw the center line. सर्कल कीप द डिस्टेंस हियर टू सेंटर लाइन 52 एम एम एंड कीप द डायमीटर ट्वेंटी वन एम एम सी हियर ओके सेलेक्ट सेंटर लाइन एंड ड्रॉ ए हॉरिजोंटल कंस्ट्रक्शन लाइन मेक श्योर इट इज हॉरिजोंटल now it's time to cut we want to cut a half circle here a slightly circle revolve cut now select here axis see this axis we selected now it's going to cut from the right plane right direction now see now it's time to create some thread Select here right plane sketch and select the previous sketch. This circle convert. See it is converted helix and spiral. Now we want to create one spiral path. Select pitch and revolution. Six mm. Pitch and revolution point two five mm ninety degree counter clockwise reverse direction. Okay. Now see the path. Now let's select front plane sketch normal. Now here we will make the profile. First draw a vertical center line. Now select here one option, center point arc. Select any one place and draw a arc. Exit. Now select both the end of arc and make relation horizontal. Here also select the line and draw one line. Exit. Let's mirror this line to opposite direction. Now cancel it. Here we will make some relation. Select these three lines and create relation symmetric. Okay. Select here. Three point arc. Select this point to this point. Now mirror against vertical line. Okay. Now it's time to define the dimension. From center point to the center of arc. Thirty nine point one three mm. Keep the radius. 1.8 mm see here okay now let's take upward see 
6.9 mm radius 18 mm and select this distance four point six five mm one point three five mm okay now this is the our geometry profile geometry if you can okay now exit now here we want to cut a profile so just simply go to feature select here swift cut select the profile first this profile selected now it is asking for path so select this path you can see here okay now see we cut one path here you can see here now it's time to create another path so select our previous first we will select define this plane right plane sketch that's it now select the our first circle go to sketch and convert it that's it feature and select here helix and spiral keep the same thing only choose counter clockwise reverse direction see it's become twisted now this okay clockwise and reverse direction unchecked 6.25 okay now see the second path is created now se select sketch 4 okay path is there and uh, profile also there so you can directly select here swift cut sketch 4 selected just select path now see it's going to cut in opposite direction okay now see we cut a tapered teeth it's little tapered in cross direction now it's time to make multiple number of patterns circular pattern and here first select Sweep cut one, sweep cut two, and select this circular face. We want forty four number of threads. Okay, it will take time, maybe because now see. So, this is the our warm gear let's try steel satin finish okay this is quite better because we can see the geometry now let's save the part 2 warm now let's start the assembly of warm gear and we will see how to let's make the assembly of warm gear select here new assembly ok now see this is the window of solidworks assembly let's browse the parts select both the parts and open Now right click on the warm gear and select here float and this also make sure both the parts in floating mode.
now first we will fix this part so select warm gear 2 and select the front plane and select the front plane of assembly and click mat it's going to mat here coincident ok now select origin point and select this center and select here co-centric it's going to fix in center ok now drag this warm gear now it's time to work for warm gear first here select temporary axis select front plane mat and choose the axis of warm gear coincident ok now just drag it we want to fix in particular position now we want to fix this mesh so select this face normal and drag this mesh keep little inside Okay, it looks bet in better position. Now, select this top plane, mat, select this face and click here distance and distance keep 41 same. Okay, now it is fixed with this distance also. here ok temporary axis showing ok now uh, let's make one more relation choose here top plane mat and select the axis of warm gear and here select distance keep the distance same whatever 53.08 ok Okay. Now hide. Temporary axis. Now see this gear is rotating. this is the position let's correct this position so that uh, we like this position now it's time to make a special choose here mat go to mechanical mat and choose here gear select this circle inside and select this face and here we will make the relation 30 by 16.5 mm ok select here ok now let's save this assembly see it is rotating
now it's time to make animation click right click on the tab motion manager go to motion manager open the window first select here option motion study properties keep this animation as it is change the frame rate I prefer 25 second per second ok drag this assembly up to 12 second choose here motor select this inside circular face and click 100 10 rpm ok now select here calculate it is rotating very fast I think we need to make it little slow so just drag this assembly to zero right click on rotary motor edit say only 100 mm calculate let's play now you can see this is the warm gear mechanism i hope you like it please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks and don't forget to share and like our videos after completing this video you can directly save this win vi window uh, give any name avi file and uh, custom ratio i prefer 16 by 9 inch 25 frame save uncheck frame key ok now it is again restarting so I hope you like it please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching